National Drive Electric Week is being celebrated at Asheville Outlets this weekend. Join us to talk about the event. Rudy Bahari Singh, president of the Blue Ridge EV Club, and Bob Harris from Black Bear Solar. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you've brought some interesting items here. Yes. Tell me what's going on. Well, these are some models of some actual solar-powered electric vehicle charging stations where you can drive on sunlight and actually recharge the cars right directly off the sun. And Rudy, we're seeing more and more of this, right? Yeah, a lot of electric cars are on our mountain roads right now. And uh, we're promoting EVs and we're showing that there's a viable way to transport yourself. All right, it used to be that a lot of people were concerned the mountains, electric, didn't go together. That's not necessarily true now. No, actually, it's, it's really uh, environmentally friendly to drive an electric car. It's great for our mountains, and, and they're very powerful machines. They can handle the hills, no problem. How does it work? Works great. Uh, we actually talking about going over the hills uh, back in 2012. We made we have a Nissan Leaf of our nonprofit over in Tennessee. We made the first ever crossing of the Great Smoky Mountains. Went from uh, Catlinburg Pigeon Forge area over here to Cherokee and charged and went right back across. All right, so that's the key, getting more places to charge, right? That's correct. All right, so what's happening there on that front? Well, we're working over here in the uh, western North Carolina region. We've already put a lot of public, free public charging stations in East Tennessee and brought a couple of little items with us to so show what you actually use to charge. This is a very simple model. It comes with the cars, plugs right into a wall outlet. The other end plugs into your car, and you can plug any place you can find an electrical outlet. And then there's some faster capacity ones. We're working now with Tesla Motors something they call Very the nice. destination charging program which is a faster charger this can put a mile of range back in the car every minute and tesla trying to be the first vehicle to go unmanned if that's you right will. that's one of their <laughs> yeah, projects as well. all right tell me about the events you guys have coming up this week okay well uh, we have the after outlets is sponsoring the show with the blue ridge ev club and we have some of the electric car dealers like ford and nissan and uh uh, Harmony Motors will be there. We have nonprofits coming out like Sundance Solar, Riverlink, the uh, NC Arboretum, and we're giving free rides uh, in our in the electric cars. You can talk to owners uh, of the cars, and and we're going to debunk a lot of the myths out there, there about electric cars. That's right. Well, I tell you what, you can help the environment and feel a lot better about what you're doing. Exactly. Thank you both for being here. We'll see you again in the next hour. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. National Drive Electric Week is being celebrated at Asheville Outlets this weekend. Joining us to talk about the event, Rudy Bahari Singh, president of the Blue Ridge EV Club, and Bob Harris from Black Bear Solar. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it very much. Uh, Bob, let me start with you. Tell me about this weekend. Well, this weekend we've got a big event coming up. It's part of a week-long celebration, National Drive Electric Week, uh, out at Asheville Outlets. will be a uh, big ride and drive event, be able to come out and see electric vehicles, r take a ride around the parking lot in one, see how they charge, and meet a lot of folks who already own them and learn about how to drive. Rudy, what do people not realize about electric cars? What surprises them most? Uh, the smoothness of the ride and the, and the pickup, the, the power of these cars, the comfort. They're very, these are not small cars. These are not golf carts. They're very they're mid-sized cars with a lot of power. See, that's the thing. It's not the golf cart anymore. No, it's really not. At not. All. How long can a typical car now go before it needs another charge? Uh, 90 to 100 miles uh, on the high end. If you get a Tesla Model S, they uh, 250 mile uh, plus range. Um, uh, the lower end would be uh, for some of the hybrid electrics would be like 25 to 40 miles. Uh, it depends what you're looking for. All right, and Bob, that's where you guys come in, wanting to provide more charge more stations. More charging stations, exactly. We're working all over western North Carolina uh, right now with Tesla Motors, with their Tesla Destination Charging Program, where we can provide free charging stations to local businesses that want to add charging and attract those electric vehicle drivers to their business. Long term, what does this mean to the environment, especially to the mountains? Well, it's great for the mountains, for the air quality. Uh, the electric vehicles are much less... Uh, Emission uh, coming out of there, much better air quality, and that's part of what we do through our nonprofit is promote the, uh, the benefits to the air in the mountain areas through reducing the uh, car emissions. And an electric car doesn't mean it's not a fun drive. Oh, it's a very fun drive. It's, fun it's, drive. it's like riding. Um, they, they handle so well. It's very smooth. All right. Noon to 6 tomorrow with the outlets. Yes. Gentlemen, thank you uh, for being Sunday. here. Sunday. Sorry. Sunday. Sunday. Thank you so much. Yes. We'll be right back. 648.